Hi there guys, Sai here, and welcome to a fairly random video, and I mean random in every possible sense of the word. This is a video on how to give yourself funky, fractally generated uh, wallpapers, I guess. Or you could use it as a screensaver, or whatever you really fancy. But, yeah, it's pretty funky. It's just a computer craft program I've written, and over here we can see how to get it. As long as you've got the HTTP... TP API enabled, you can use paste bin get and then this code, which is obviously going to be in the description because I don't expect you to remember it, and call it Langton, because this is a Langton's Ant simulator. Obviously, I've already got it on this computer, so it's going to say that. And then we can run it. There are three parameters. We've got Langton. First parameter is the side that the screen is on. So in this case, the screen's on the right. The second parameter is sequential generation, and so it's either true or false. Technically, it's either anything or false. So I could put banana in there instead of true, and it'd still treat it as if I'd put true in there. And then the third is the step size. So let's say we put 10 in for this. And this is, as you can see, going a lot slower than the one over there, because it's that one is running on a step size of a thousand. But there are a few things we can do with this. If we right click, we can stop the generation. And then if we right click again, we can start a new generation with a newly randomized set of parameters. And yeah, oh, this one's... Uh, Drawing is a straight line, and this will show us what happens when it reaches the end of the screen. It doesn't wrap or anything, it just uh, stops the generation and we can right click for a new one. We can see what happens with a few other parameters. You have to stop this program with Control T, holding that down for a little while. So if we say false here, so we go for non-sequential generation, which is technically a misnomer because you can see it is actually still running sequentially. But, yeah, it tries to generate the thing as fast as it possibly can. And we've got two bad examples here of where it's generated a rule set that doesn't reach the edge particularly fast. And Computercraft will just throw this too long without yielding error to stop your processor from blowing up, basically. But you can see it, it can generate them really fast. You can't cancel generation in this mode though because there is no wait time where it lets you do that. But yeah, I would, uh, I suppose we can go into, mm, we can go into the program here but I, I'm not really going to be able to describe it particularly well given that there's 180 something lines of code I believe here and yeah it's all fairly it's not particularly simple to describe what's going on at some point. I've left comments in there though, and a bunch at the top, so you can hopefully figure out what's going on if you look at the paste bin code. But anyway, uh, that is pretty much it for this video. That's uh, all I wanted to say, really. I know this isn't really what I'm usually into, but eh, it was fun. Uh, I just came up with it uh, by chance one day and thought, eh, I guess you guys would like this. So yeah. See you around, I hope, and have a nice day. Goodbye.